Hey guys, my name is Wayan, and I hope everybody is staying home and healthy under this uh, COVID-19 crisis. Um, actually, today I want to talk about something fun. Okay, so as you can see on the screen here, this is a Nintendo Switch. Um, it's very hard to find one on the market right now. Maybe because because everybody is staying home and then they gotta have something to do and then they just you know choose to play video games. Okay. Um, at the end of this video, you'll be able to write a small Python program that uh, will send you an email, email notifications, and call your mobile phone once the product is available online. Here, this becomes yellow, yellow tag here. Okay. Um, okay. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, we we'll talk about the, the Python modules uh, that I used uh, for this project here. So, um, I have used um. Beautiful Soup is the first and most important modules. Um, this allows us to extract the data from the website. So in, in our case, it's the bestbuy.com here. And, and the Trilio. Trilio is a, a software that you can um, call the APIs and then um, and, and Trilio will will call you uh, once, the, once the product is uh, available here. And then uh, the third one is SMTP li library, okay? SMTP, just simple mail transfer protocol, okay? It's inside the Python, and then um, this one is just send your email. And the last one is just, um, how, uh, you wanna run the program every 30 seconds? It's very simple. Um, you Just how many how many seconds you wanna, you wanna run this program again, okay? You wanna run this, you wanna, you wanna visit this uh, website again. Okay. Um, let's jump into the code, and I want to tell you um, what exactly I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see here, I've, I have uh, four top uh, high files. This is the main file. Okay, this is the main file we're gonna run. So, as you can see, just 46 line. It's a very small program, very easy to learn. Okay, um, so you can see I imported pro, uh, modules here, and then. Um, let's talk about this function. So I only have one function here. Return the status of availability of the product. Okay, this will return um, the availability of this uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, um, the the product itself have three uh, statuses. One is you know sold out or add to cart or check stores. I mean this this status here will change. Okay. We change in between these three statuses. Okay. Um, okay. I want to actually jump into Python consoles and do some um, coding here, and so you can see what is the output of these commands. What what does these functions does? Okay. Um, let's import the request first, um, and then. Um, I want to copy and paste this URL. Okay. And then, of course, the, uh, the HTTP request headers here. Okay. Enters. And if I just, you know, I run this uh, command response equals to request. Okay. Actually, oh, we are not going. Oh, because. Because I did not pass the URL zero into it. Okay. If I run this uh, response status code, I should get a 200. Okay. If you don't, if you see this is not 200, um, it has something to do with your uh, HTTP request. Okay. To HTTP 200, it means it just means it, the connection was successful. Right? If you don't have this 200, you should stop this. Uh, you should stop from here and then figure out why it's not getting 200 code. Okay, and then um, let's go to a a content right? response as a as a attribute content. Okay, if I copy and paste here, okay, princess HTML. What do I get? It's got a bunch of HTML. Um, it's actually from this website. If I hit, if I press the F12 in the developer mode, 
can see this HTML is um, this that this text. Okay. Um, and then let's uh, import a let's import a beautiful soup here. Beautiful soup. Okay. And then here is the most important command actually. Um, the soup is an object. Okay. Beautiful soup is a, a Python module. So, so we are passing we are, we are, we are passing the HTML files here into this is a variable. We're passing this variable HTML with the uh, HTML parser, okay? HTML parser, H LXML to this uh, uh, Python modules, and, and then we got the soup as an object, okay? What do I got here? If I, and then the soup has the attributes, fine. Okay, if I just copy this, gonna, what do I get here? Okay, if I get a match, okay, if I print match, what, what do I get here? I think it's a diff, yes, yeah, it's a HTML diff, yeah. So I'm gonna um, go to the browsers and talk about how you get, how you find this. This is HTML tag, okay, and the with the name of, with the class name, fulfillment, add to, uh, add to cart button, okay. And then if I uh, type, uh, match dot text to so extract this text here, right? Sold out. This is the text we're talking about here. And then we we'll return this status, which will return the status of the product. Okay. So how do we get this? How do we get this um, class uh, fulfillment add to cart? Okay. So if you just go to this website and then uh, right click. Here, uh, right click here and inspect elements. Okay. So let's let's explain this. If you hover the mouse here to these, uh, once you see this, um, this blue ish, you know, on top of this uh, sold out. Okay, you can see here the fulfillment add to cart button. Right? This is one we're talking about. This one, add to cart. No, no, this one, this is the ID, I'm sorry, this is the class, right? This is the class. That's the ID, that's different thing, that's different HTML tag, different HTML uh, attributes, okay? So this is a class, okay, for human address class, this is the one. Uh, let's go back to here. Okay, and this is the main uh, loop here, the main loop here. So this is status list, this will return the um, a list of availability of uh, all these products here so it will return that for example here it will return the sold out if the first one if the red one is sold out and the black one is sold out and the green one is add to cart it was this is a, just an example of the return one of the return um, possibilities okay um, so if so here Chest stores. If okay, let's do, if the if the status add to cart is in any of the position of this list, which means if any of these products is available, oh, it's gonna send me emails and then call me. Okay, and then I'd like to show you this same mail the pie. Okay, this same mail the pie is a uh, I was, I'm using the Gmail's mail server. Okay. And this is send an email with a send a password. Okay. Um, and this command is to log in to log in the um, Gmail account. Okay. And this is uh, receiver's email address. Okay. And this is just a subject and uh, the body of the email. At, uh, the body, yeah, the body of the email. Okay. And this one. Um, uh, actually, this one uh, I, I found this is online. Um, I'll send you a link um, in the description. Um, you can you can um, and that link was very, was very helpful, and you can modify customize this um, to have the, this SML .py working for you. Okay, and this is the call pi. This is actually from the Trulio. Okay, this is a demo demo code. Um, one of the they they have the 
um, if you go to websites here, they have some um, demo here, and then you can find. I'll, I'll put this in the description. Of, all you need to do is just sign in a sign sign up an account in uh, Trilio, and then get the account ID and auth token, and then just replace this, and then replace the uh, the numbers here. Okay, so two numbers is there is your phone numbers, right? And from this number is you you can go to log into the uh, Trilio consoles, and then you can select uh, one of the numbers from their list. Um, I think they give you a ten dollars free. Um, it's, it's it should be good for this project. Okay, I, I don't think it's gonna charge me. Okay, and and this works well. And and yeah, go go try it. I mean, okay, let's let's go to the uh, the test dot pile. I like to run this program to see um, the output. Okay, let's run this. Okay, HTML the two engines first link was okay. First link was successful, all link was successful, red soda, black soda, green soda, number of visits, and then wait for 30 seconds. 13 seconds, sorry. Wait for 13 seconds and um and then the second visit will be uh red is still sold out, black is still sold out, green is still sold out, okay. Um but if I change, if I stop this, and then I change this to sold out, right? And as you guessed it, this will call me. This will trigger this uh, code here. Okay, it'll just send me an email and call my mobile phone. Okay, I run again. Oh, it's not working. Oh, because um, I intentionally um, modified this. Okay, let me just modify this back. Um, I don't want you guys to see my emails and phone numbers. So let me copy. Let me just uh, change these files and I'll be back in seconds. Okay, so. Sorry. Okay, it's ready to go. Um, let's run again. So uh, notice this is a sold out. So I should be receiving a phone call and a email. Okay. Okay, it's sold out. Okay, email sent and calling you now. So I'm still waiting for the phone call. Okay, so the email. Looks like my connection is not good, it's not receiving a phone call. Oh, there we go. So that's a phone call. Okay. As you can as you can heard from the background. Okay. I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna look at this call. Okay. Please go away. Okay, so that's it. Um so oh yeah, one thing I wanna mention this if you go to the beautiful soup documentation, make sure you download the LXML parser, which I talked about here. LXML parser, okay, it's very important. Um, that's it. I mean, the project is just, as you can see, it's very simple, and you don't need to have any, you know, very advanced programming experience. Um, and and once this become once this becomes a uh, available like add to cart, you will you'll receive a email and a phone call. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, hit the like button if you if you if you like the video. Hit the dislike button if you don't like the video. Okay. Um, I will see you guys in next time. Okay. Bye bye.